Today we are going to see some common mistakes related to types of quadrilateral. Common mistake 1. Often students find it difficult to recognize a rectangle. Like the quadrilateral given here. Students often understand that this is not a rectangle. The reason behind this is that a rectangle is usually represented like this. Repeatedly looking at this figure, they conceptualize that if a quadrilateral is like this, then it is a rectangle, otherwise it is not. Since this figure is not according to a rectangle, that is in their mind, they assume that this is not a rectangle. A correct understanding is that opposite sides of a rectangle are parallel and equal and all angles are right angles. With this understanding, we can make different rectangles in different ways. Here we can see that given properties are satisfied. Therefore, this is a rectangle. Common mistake 2. Now look at this figure. Is this a square? Think for a while. Let me explain this. This is a square. But most of the students do not consider this as a square. They think that the sides of a square are parallel to paper or edges of the screen. Here the sides of the given quadrilateral are not parallel to a screen. Therefore, they consider that this is not a square. Remember that identifying a quadrilateral just by seeing it is a wrong method. It is necessary to understand the properties of different types of quadrilateral in order to identify them correctly. Similar to what we see here, that all sides are equal, opposite sides are parallel and all angles are right angles, therefore we can say that this is a square. Therefore, it is correct to identify the quadrilateral on the basis of its properties. Common mistake 3. Is the square a rectangle too? Think for a while. Let me explain this. Many students think that a square is not a rectangle because square do not look like a rectangle. Remember that we identify quadrilaterals on the basis of their properties and not by just looking at it. Just like in a rectangle, opposite sides of a square are equal and parallel like a rectangle, all angles of the square are right angles. Therefore, a square is also a rectangle. Is a rectangle also a square? No. This is not necessary. In a square, it is mandatory that all sides must be equal, but in rectangle, only opposite sides are equal. Therefore, a rectangle cannot be a square. So, remember that a square can be a rectangle, but a rectangle cannot be a square. Common mistake 4. Is the given statement correct? Each square is a rhombus and each rhombus is a square. Let's understand the statement to prove whether it is true or false. We will make a square to understand this. If we measure the sides of the given figure with a ruler, then we realize that all its sides are equal. Its opposite sides are parallel. These are the properties of a rhombus. With this, we can say that every square is a rhombus. Now let's observe the other half of the statement. To understand this, we will draw a rhombus. On measuring this rhombus, we realize that the length of all its sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel. But we find that its angles are not right angles. Since, along with the above two properties, all angles of square are right angles, it means this figure is not a square. This means that the other half of the statement is not correct. Students make mistakes in identifying the correct type of quadrilateral due to the confusion in concepts of rhombus and square and give the wrong answer. With this, we can say that every square is a rhombus, but every rhombus is not a square. Today, we have seen some common mistakes related to types of quadrilateral.